clay doesn't want to be a large flat thing, it just wants to be a pot. I have to sort of go into battle with the material to get it to work. The stakes are high. My name is Emma Hart and I'm an artist who predominantly works with ceramics to make sculptures. An important element of my practice over the last few years has been making ceramic speech bubbles. The words they contain have been carefully selected and the layout of the text transforms the speech bubble into looking like a face, letters become ears, eyes or mouths. Lately, I've been using my ceramic speech bubbles to think through the impact of coming from a working class background, yet working in the middle class art world. My sculptures are always fuelled by J.L. Austin's work on speech acts, the propensity of language to be able to not look back and describe, but to make things new and make things happen. My class background is held in my mouth, and unfortunately, each time I open it, I risk being judged. Your mouth holds your upbringing, accidentally spitting out your history. The large glossy speech bubble faces make announcements, but are undermined by a rough red flip side. They are almost two-faced, they are split. They have a glossy public outside and a raw inside. But the red raw insides represent the internal glow of shame or the flicker of a shadow of doubt that haunts how I feel when I open my mouth and say something, like now. If you come from a working class background and are trying to make it in the middle class art world, then you are more than likely to also feel split. You're split between the world you grew up in and the opaque art world you've entered. You are both inside and outside at the same time. I am not in harmony anymore with my family background where art was not a priority. But I also do not fully share the values and culture of the middle class art world. I don't belong there. I often get introduced or described as a bit of a character. This has something to do with social class. I haven't quite worked it out yet, but I don't like it. And anyway, I do not have a singular self. If anything, I am a character's. No No is a speech bubble where I've cut through the clay so the insides, the raw feelings, are visible from the outside, the glossy face, and this is a definite no no. The speech bubbles give you words to say, such as oi oi, and maybe this is not in your vocabulary. So the speech bubbles put words in your mouth. 